Yeah, on the EJ, I blew the motor twice. Yay. Welcome back, my super crew. Super late at night, kind of bored, looking through my old hard drive. I have some footage from my 2011 STI. All right, so I've had, in the past, a 2002 Bug Eye WRX, a 2004 WRX Blah by Soup that one pretty good. Then I got a 2011 STI. Actually bought it off the showroom floor. Big accomplishment for a younger guy. Bit older now. But hey, I'm wearing the same shirt. You'll see that later. 2011 STI. So I had recorded that footage. I was like, I like YouTube. I want to be a YouTuber one day. Then I kind of forgot about the footage for seven years. <laughs> so I found it again. Let's put it together. Uh, the video's not so great. Incohesive. There's some language in there, so just so you know, let's check it out. Let me know what you think. Hey guys, I'm Grant, and this is the 2011 Subaru WRX STI Limited. God damn, that's a long fucking name. Anyway, I know there's plenty of other reviews out there, but I don't want to throw in my own two cents. I've had it for two years now and 25,000 miles. I want to throw in some opinions about what I thought about it and things that I would have liked to known when I initially bought it. So if you're in the market for a new one or a secondhand one, these are some things I would have liked to know at the time. Also I want to talk about some of the easy to do DIY stuff as far as performance upgrades and show you how that works as well. So let's fucking check it out. Initially when I got I was talking to one of the salesmen at the Subaru dealership and he had mentioned that the paint is very soft, as he put it. So I don't know if that just means it's not very good or what, but it does seem to, to scratch pretty easily so you find yourself... Fuck! God damn it! Cock!
good. It wasn't recording. Okay, so I'm trying to remember from seven years ago what, what I was trying to accomplish with that video. Who knows? Oh, young kids. What are we going to do with them? So I was talking about dealer options. They had one on the showroom floor. I ended up buying it. It was like $43,000, which was huge at the time, but I was able to get it. Very, very happy. Um, I bought it from uh, Larry H. Miller. If you're from Utah, you know who that is. They have a whole dealership complex that has multiple dealers within the same location. And so I was walking across the street back and forth between Mitsubishi and Subaru. And actually why... Um, the model I was looking at for the Mitsubishi Evo they had at the time um, was just a five-speed. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, I think the MRs were paddle shift, but um, I walked across the street, that 2011 STI in that purplish color, color um, had the six-speed, very appealing to me. Also, um, the Evo did not have fold down back seats, small thing, but something to consider when you're looking at those vehicles. Um, one funny story, the, the roommate, good friend that I was renting a room from at the time, I brought the car home and he's like, Oh, you bought a purple car. I was like, eh, I like it. <laughs> but anyway, so what happened? to that 2011. Well, first of all, I guess what I was trying to say with the factory dealer options, the, I got the limited, had the leather seats, navigation, most of the options. So that was in 2011 when I bought it. So that is right when the Asian tsunami happened and Japan was not in a good place right about then. So basically my, any negotiation on price was kind of out the window. They're like, yeah, we're not making these right now, so you're gonna pay what we say you're gonna pay. Um, so I had that, how long did I have that car? I had it all the way up until 2016 before I bought that guy. Um, yeah, on the EJ, I blew the motor twice. Yay! So, being a young, dumb person that I was at the time, um, so the factory dealer recommendations in the manual for that car was 6,000 miles between oil changes. I had a stage two tune. I had the Cobb SF uh, intake. Cobb downpipe and the accompanying tune for that. Um, pretty quick car, had a lot of fun. Ringland failure at some point, oh, 2015, blew the motor up. Blew the motor up. When I checked the oil, it was super low. 
I had went past 3,000 miles thinking I need to change it every 6,000 miles. Well, I had aftermarket parts. That is something to consider. And if you're driving a hard, change the oil twice as often, please. So, blew the motor, had to buy a new short block. I have a very good mechanic friend, put it back together and ran it for another year. Same thing happened again. Ring line failure. I can't remember. I I don't think we changed the oil pan, and there might have been some metal fragments that got repicked up. Went back through, ruined the engine again. So fixed it again. This time I didn't have to buy a new short block. Um, had some extra parts from the first time. Put it back together. I'm not sure what my mechanic did, but we got it going again. At which point I immediately traded it in for this guy. So that's the story of the 2011 STI that I had. Again, I just wanted to post some old footage. Uh, if it's something you like, let me know. I appreciate you watching this. Thank you guys. And I'm out. YouTube. I'm Grant and this is the 2011 Subaru WRX STI Limited Review. God damn, that's a long fucking name. Anyway, I wanted to base this review on my personal experience. I know there's plenty of other reviews out there based upon the same model year and make, but I wanted to throw in my own two cents on what I thought about it, about the factory dealer options what they are, whether they're worth it or not, and whether you should consider them, whether you're in the market for a new one or a used one. Also, I wanted to talk about the different performance upgrade options for the easy to do DIY people out there.